Welcome back here. Um, figured I'd make a little video about this. I never really did when I made it. I just kind of threw it together. I think I may have took a few pictures. Um, but this is a little recovery boat I made for um, when I take my you know regular RC boats out and they flip over. You know I don't have the auto flip ones or anything. So this helps me go retrieve it out of the lake. Basically, it just you know, it goes up in there and has that pipe in the back to kind of catch it and it just drags it in. Uh, seems to work really good. I'll throw some videos up about it. But basically that is through, you know, half inch pipe, a couple T's. There's a T in here. Comes up, a T right here. Comes up and basically, you know, end cap, an elbow. And you can kind of see the rest. Uh, just some regular plywood, quarter inch. Um, I ran some screws in it and I put this little Tupperware container to keep my electronics uh, dry and that's where I got my re my receiver and my ESC and I put my battery in there and then this was a little tricky um, I had to it's this is attached to the servo for steering because that's the only thing I could think of at the time um, and then I have this as a drone motor, I believe. Um, I don't even remember what I'm running here. I'm running a 2200 kV. Seems pretty good, pretty good motor. I think that's a six inch prop I'm running. As you can see, it's a little big. I actually caught something with it here and busted that. But I definitely recommend ordering extra props because I snagged the tree branch and shattered one when I was out one day. But yeah, this was a little tricky. I basically took a servo horn and that was kind of long and I engraved in to this wood and kind of inset the servo horn. That's why you really can't see it much down there. You can see a little bit of it sticking out. You can kind of tell what I mean like right here. So I ran a screw through the end of the servo horn up to a nut. Uh, it looks like I actually managed to get two screws in there and then on that servo horn it it attaches To the servo with the set screw And then that's basically it. It's not the strongest. It is a metal servo horn, so that helps um, And it's a metal gear servo But you can tell it's a little wobbly, but it does the job. I mean, it's not like I'm running this thing to race or anything. I'm just trying to recover my boat when it flips over. But it seems to be really good. But that's about it. Like I say, I'll throw some videos up about it running. And, uh, yeah, I just figured I'd show you guys. Have a good one. Well, here we go. Let's see if it even floats, huh? Moment of truth. Oh yeah, look at that. That's perfect. That'll do the job, fellas. Look at that thing. There we go.
Nice. Yes. Yes. Thank you, boat. Tugboat. <laughs>